What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Uh, this is just in. Uh, just an hour ago, uh, this was posted on a Yellow Corpse uh, Facebook page stating that uh, they have uh, written a letter to uh, President Biden asking for help negotiating with the Teamsters. Now, if you don't know, then just the other day, I put out a video where uh, the CEO of Yellow stated that the Teamsters will not help them in their rephasing. I'm Darren Hawkins, CEO of Yellow. For nearly 100 years, the Yellow family of union and non-union truckers and dock workers has handled and delivered freight for hundreds of thousands of customers, large and small, coast to coast. Today, our 30,000 jobs, mostly union jobs, are in serious jeopardy because the leadership at the International Brotherhood of Teamsters refuses to come to the table to discuss the future of our employees. So because of that, 30,000 jobs are going to be out and 9,100 of those are truck drivers. So the letter that's written says, despite support from the administration, these efforts have proven unsuccessful at getting both sides to the table to discuss a way forward. Uh, Yellow is trying to implement a second phase of operational changes it says are paramount to its survival. The plan includes consolidating its LTL operating companies, closing redundant terminals, and redefining work rules for some drivers, among other items. It says here the carrier was successful in installing a first phase of changes in the West, However, a second phase covering 70% of its network has been shut down by the union, it states. Uh, seemingly out of options, the company filed a $137 million breach of contract lawsuit against the IBT on Tuesday. As a result of the union, Yellow's business plan has been frozen. The letter continued, the company has lost market share and has been unable to secure additional lending the day-to-day -day business operations. Uh, Yellow has 1.5 billion debt and lease financing obligations, 1.3 million of which comes due next year. Of that, 700 million comes from U.S. Treasury in the form of a COVID relief loan. In addition, collateral for the loan, the government received a 30% equity in stake in Yellow, which the letter warns would be wiped out if they go out of business. So it looks like Yellow is... On his last leg, uh, the CEO with uh, wanting to sue the union for $137 million, now writing a letter to the president. 30,000 employees of Yellow and the 9,100 truck drivers, which 22,000 are Teamster jobs. You know, what are your thoughts about this? Does this really scare you? You know, where are you at with this? But overall, yeah, this is... You know, if I worked for this company and I was hearing these things, I would be extremely worried for my job. You know, uh, the CEO of Yellow said that they pay from 65000 upwards to 100000 And, you know, they're pretty good paying jobs out there. You know, some people were stating that uh, the CEO of Yellow, which makes millions a year, well, why don't they take a pay cut at upper management level as well? But um, just want to give you this update because, I don't know, this really does seem like a last leg. They've been bailed out multiple times in their 100 years in business. And at this point, I mean, sending a letter out to the president to help, I, it is extremely concerning. So, Mother Truckers, comment down below. But, yeah, just want to give you that information. Uh, I'll have uh, the, the letter down below so that you guys can read that. But it is a problem. So, Mother Truckers. Let me know how you're feeling about this. And if you work for Yellow, uh, definitely comment down and let us know. Uh, are you looking for another job or do you think that uh, Yellow will get through this and work it out with the Teamsters?
Darren Hawkins, CEO of Yellow. For nearly 100 years, the Yellow family of union and non-union truckers and dock workers has handled and delivered freight for hundreds of thousands of customers, large and small, coast to coast. Today, our 30,000 jobs, mostly union jobs, are in serious jeopardy because the leadership at the International Brotherhood of Teamsters refuses to come to the table to discuss the future of our employees. For the past eight months, we have worked in good faith to come to an agreement with the union to strengthen our employees' jobs and the future of our company. Yellow is just one of three major unionized companies remaining in the less than truckload business. Six other union companies have gone belly up in the last few decades, in large part because they couldn't compete with non-union carriers. Yellow is trying to stay in the game for our employees and customers. We're working to modernize our company to compete in a way that aligns with the union, but their leadership still refuses to meet. Surely, Teamsters leaders don't want their members, our employees, to lose their jobs. Our folks are good, hard-working people who want to earn a fair wage. At Yellow, we're raising wages twice this year. Our average driver earns more than $65,000 a year. Some make more than $100,000, and we offer full family benefits, the best the industry has to offer. Our yellow employees live in every state across our nation, including here in Tennessee, where we employ nearly 1,500 people. We have filed a lawsuit against the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. We do not take this action lightly, but their leadership has left us with no choice. We are now fighting for the livelihood of our 30,000 employees. We will do all we can to save these American jobs. While union leaders come and go, Yellow has been around a century. Responsible leaders work together to create opportunities and maintain jobs. We are ready and willing to talk even as we remain firm in our resolve, we simply cannot let these jobs in this company go without taking a stand. Thank you.